Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on this Thursday, the 27th of January. Today, today is Holocaust Memorial Day. It is the 77th anniversary of the, uh, of the liberation of Auschwitz. Today we are remembering the 6 million and some Jews who were killed. Those who were killed for being gay or lesbian or in any way different. For those who were killed because they were gypsies or of ethnic persuasion. We will remember those who have been targeted because of their differences, for those who were exterminated because they did not fit a political ideal. We will pray for all who are scapegoated and all who are hurting. We must never forget <coughs> the horror and the tragedy of this industrialised mass murder. We must pray for tolerance of one another. We must pray for our common humanity. We must pray for the souls of all who have died. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, King of the nations, to be praised and glory for ever. From the rising of its sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, Anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. O be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the daylight is open before us. Let us pray of one heart and mind. <clears throat> as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire, love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this morning is Psalm 47. O oh, sing praises to the Lord. Sing praises. Clap your hands together, all you peoples. O oh, sing to the Lord God with shouts of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared. He is the great King over all the earth. He subdued the peoples under us, and the nations under his our feet. He has chosen our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob whom he loves. The God has gone up with a merry noise, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. O oh, sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth, sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations, God has taken his seat upon his holy throne. The nobles of the people are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For the power of the earth belongs to God, and he is very highly exalted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. O oh, sing praises to God, sing praises. Our second psalm for this morning is Psalm 48. We have waited on your loving kindness. O God, great is the Lord and highly to be praised in the city of our God. His ho holy mountain is far, fair and lifted high, the joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine dwelling place, stands the city of the great king. In her palaces, God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. For behold, the kings of the earth assembled and swept forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded. Dismayed, they fled in terror. Trembling seized them there. They rise like a woman in labour, as when the east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God. God has established her for ever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. As with your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of justice. 
Let Mount Zion rejoice and the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments, O Lord. Walk about Zion and go around, around about her. Count all her towers. Consider well her bulwarks. Pass through her citadel. That you may tell those who come after that such is our God for ever and ever. It is he that shall be our guide for evermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God. Our Old Testament reading is a continuation of the book of Genesis, chapter 15, from the beginning to the end of the chapter. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield. Your reward should be very great. But Abraham said, O Lord God, what will you give me if I continue childless and the heir of my health is Eleazar of Damascus? And Abraham, and Abraham said, You have given me no offspring, and so a slave born of my house is to, be your, is to be my heir. But the word of the Lord came to him, This man shall not be your heir. No one but your very own issue shall be your, very, your, be your heir. He brought him outside and said, Look, towards the heaven and count the stars, if you are able to count them. Then he said to him, So shall your descendants be. And he believed the Lord, and the Lord reckoned it to, it to him as righteousness. And then he said to him, I am the Lord who brought you from Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land to possess. But he said, O Lord God, how am I to know that I shall possess it? He said to him, Bring me a heifer three years old, and a female goat three years old, a ram three years old, and a turtle dove and a young pigeon. He brought them all these and cut them in two, laying each half over another against the other, but he did not cut the birds in two. When the birds of prey came down on the carcass, Abraham drove them away. As the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abraham, and a deep, ter terrifying darkness descended upon him. Then the Lord said to Abraham, Know this for certain, that your offspring shall be aliens in a land that is not theirs, and shall be slaves there, and they shall be oppressed for four hundred years. But I will bring judgment on the nation that they serve, and afterwards they shall come out with great possessions. As for yourself, you shall go to your ancestors in peace. You shall be buried in a good old age, and they shall come back here in the fourth generation, for the iniquities of the Amorites is not yet complete. When the sun was gone down, it was dark. A smoking firepot and flaming torch passed between those places, pieces. On that day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying, To your descendant I give this land, from the river of Egypt to the great river, the river Euphrates, the land of the Kenites, the Kesarites, the Cadmonites, and the Hittites, the Perizzites, the, uh, the Rephim, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Gurkishites, and the Jebusites. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. The night still covers the earth, and darkness the peoples. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. The nations will come to your light, and the kings to your dawning brightness. Your gates will lie open continually, shut neither by day nor by night. The sound of violence shall be heard no longer in your land or ruin and devastation within your borders. You will call your wall salvation, and your gates praise. No more will the sun give you daylight, nor moonlight shine upon you. But the Lord will be your everlasting light, your God will be your splendour. For you shall be called the city of God, the dwelling of the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. Our New Testament reads a continuation of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 26, verses 47 to 56. Whilst he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd with swords and clubs, with the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, the one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him. At once he came up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do you do what you are here to do? Then they came and laid hands on him and Jesus, uh, on Jesus and arrested him. 
Suddenly, one of those with Jesus put his hand on his sword, drew it, and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back in its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father, and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled, which say it must happen this way? At that hour Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me, as though I were a bandit? Day after day I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But all this has taken place, so the scriptures of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth shone before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. I worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth shone before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. I worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. This is the Christ, the chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. This is the Christ, the chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray and give thanks for the day that lies ahead of us. We pray, Lord, that you would be with us in all that we do and say and think. Guide our hearts, guide our hands, guide our minds. Help us to do all that is right and just by you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for the souls of all who were killed in the Holocaust, for all the Jewish folk, the two-thirds of the population of Europe, for all the LGBT community, for all the Romani and other travellers, for all those who did not fit the ideal. We pray, Lord, that we would never forget the horror and the inhumanity, that we may recognise in each other the commonality, the humanity, and that they are loved by you. Help us not to give in to hate. Help us not to acquiesce to the strong and to the bully. Help us to stand up for what is right. We pray and give thanks for those who actively worked to thwart the Nazi regime. We pray for those who helped to evacuate Jews. For those who helped hide those who were targets. For those who kept hope alive. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those being affected by the coronavirus. We pray for those who are sick at this time. We pray for those who are in need of long-term care, for those who are in need of hospitalisation. We pray for all those who have died. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Father, we pray for peace in this world, for an end to violence and an end to suffering. We pray for a relaxation of the tensions around Ukraine. 
We pray for all those suffering in Afghanistan. We pray for those who are in refugee camps, for those who are fleeing and seeking asylum, for those who are begging for sanctuary and safety. Help us who live in relative peace and quiet, that we may help those who are most in need. May we recognise in them the love that you have shown to them, and that we are our common humanity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray for those who are known to us. We pray especially by name for Davy, Jilly, Megan, Mary, Tina, Robert, David, Peter, Rose, Sarah, Gwenna, Gillian, Brian and Paddy. We pray too for those who are known to you alone. We pray for those who reach the end of their lives and those who recently lost their lives. We pray for all who are mourning and all who are grieving and all who carry the scars of loss. <coughs> Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose Son revealed in signs and miracles the wonders of your saving presence, renew your people with your heavenly grace and in all our weakness sustain us by your mighty power. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ who sends us to the nations give us the power of his spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do join me this evening at 5pm for evening prayer. And uh, a reminder for Sunday, we will be having at 8am a BCP Holy Communion at St Mary's. And 9.30 will be at St Mary's for the main Eucharist, which will be streamed online. And then at 11 o'clock will be at St. Thomas's for the Eucharist there. Um, and we will be celebrating Candle Mass or the presentation of Christ at the Temple on Sunday. So until we see each other again, God bless, stay safe and have a very good day.